light of everything that's going on, we're practicing social distancing, everybody is staying home, but that doesn't stop us from having a good time and, and celebrating with our family when it comes to Easter. So what better way than to find out how we can do it all is with our good friend, Chef George Duran. Hey, where are you coming from today? <laughs> Well, today I am in uh, Vermont in my brother-in-law's house, uh, live via Skype for you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, I have to say, Hazel Marie, we're going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss cooking for you. Even though you never have tasted my food, I'm still going to miss you very much. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And you know what? We'll just have to figure out how to, to ship all that food because we're all hungry. So what exactly do you have in store to make it easy for everyone in the family to enjoy this time when it comes to Easter? Yeah, I think the key word here is convenience. And one of the things that I like to do is have a mandu. Uh, this one's from Bibigo. Mandu is a kind of dumpling. And in this dumpling, you're going to have quality meats and vegetables. It's essentially a meal all in one bite right over here. So what you're going to be able to do is take a bite into one of these mandus and get everything you need. The best part is that these come frozen. If you go to uh, Costco, BJ's, or Walmart right now, you can find them frozen and keep them in your freezer for many, many months. You can pan fry them, you can steam them, you can pop them inside of a soup, and you can go ahead and serve them with some of these sauces. They're called gojujang sauces, or you can use just regular soy sauce or dumpling sauce, whatever you want. But the convenience of these is that you're getting quality balanced meals all in one bite and you can serve it to your family. BBGoUSA.com is where you can find more information. But again, super simple, because these were in my freezer just a while ago. Just pop them out, hand fry them, and serve them, and your guests will love them. Absolutely. Now, I know with everybody is trying to go to the grocery store and have much needed supplies on hands, but what's in your pantry? What is something that we should always have? You know, I always tell my friends that having a good quality protein is really important. So for me, that's ham. I got to always have ham in there, and particularly a double smoked ham. This one's one of the best. It's from Kentucky Legend. And what I love about their ham is that it's a quality double smoked ham that can easily, you can easily just heat it and eat it, meaning it's already cooked, it's set to go. You can pan fry it or you can uh, put it into a sandwich right away and eat it the way you like to do it. So as Easter approaches, you have different sizes of ham. That you can buy for, that you can buy depending on the size of your family. But best of all, these freeze really well. They have the petite ham, the whole ham, the half ham, but they all freeze beautifully. So now I can store these hams right in my freezer, right behind me. And whenever I need to pull it out and make a extraordinary dish or just a simple ham and cheese sandwich, it's ready for me right over there. So this is what I've made for you today. Are you ready? This is called a Spanish tortilla, and it's a really simple recipe. It's pretty much scrambled eggs or, or, or beat up eggs. And then I put some sliced cooked potatoes that I've actually microwaved and sliced, and then a ton of that ham from Kentucky Legend that I put in there. You pop it into the oven, it pops up, and then when you invert it, it kind of looks like a pie. And you cut it into slices, and you can serve it for breakfast, lunch, even put it next to a salad and serve it for as dinner. Best of all, I can even serve it last second, leave it out with toothpicks and serve it as an hors d'oeuvre for my friends and family. I love making this dish. Uh, yum, and so convenient. I mean, you really have thought of everything. Before we wrap up, is there another staple that will be on your table for Easter besides the ham? Well, yeah, you know, eggs are very important this time of year because it is Easter after all. But what I've been doing in the last couple of years is taking my eggs and I'm scrambling them, but I'm putting poking holes on both sides, blowing out the eggs, cooking the eggs. But I've kept like about three dozen eggs just to shell. My kids are going to decorate it this year with markers, and we're going to hide it throughout the house. And this way I don't have to waste any of those eggshells or go out and buy any plastic eggs or chocolate eggs of what sorts. They're very excited about it this year. It's going to be a different type of Easter, yeah. but still very exciting. But that's so creative. I love how you're just not wasting anything, and that everything that you do is just so amazing, so delicious. So where can we go for more information? Yeah, all of these recipes and ingredients you can find at dailylounge.com.